This segment of Panther Sports Talk is brought to you by CFU, the power of service. LJ4 was named the FCS Defensive Player of the Year in 2011 by College Sporting News. From there, he went on to become a starting linebacker for the Cleveland Browns, and through his entire journey, he never forgot his roots. This past summer, he returned to work out with some former teammates and UNI Strength and Conditioning Program, as he's looking to have another successful season in the NFL. We sat down with LJ Fort to discuss his rookie year in the pros. Um, UNI to me is an amazing environment. Just the the fans and how invested they are in, in you and I, when his dome gets rocking, there's no other place like it. I, I, I love being here, I love the fans and the um, tradition this place has. And um, like Jed Smith, Nick Davis, the, the strength and conditioning um, trainers here, is definitely have to be one of the kind. So I love coming here just to work out and get ready for next year. It was unreal, um, fulfilling one of my childhood dreams, my only childhood dream, I should say, um, is being in the NFL. And um, it's, it's kind of hard to explain. It's definitely a, a emotional roller coaster with all the up and downs that um, came throughout the year, starting the first game and um, going against Michael Vick. That was unreal. And then um, just having to accept my role, being on special teams the rest of the year, and just going as hard as I could from that was um, it, it was definitely some up and downs. Yeah, I'll say in preseason. Um, I might have been, but you have to get over that real quick if you want to be successful in the NFL. The um, NFL locker room is extremely confident, um, and that's probably an understatement. So you just being around those guys, you definitely gain your confidence pretty quickly. But um, yeah, um, my first game, first preseason game, I think we were going against the um, Detroit Lions. Calvin Johnson ran out, and I was like, that's crazy. He's huge and looks just athletic. Uh, they call him Megatron for a reason. Uh, that was probably one of the moments I was starstruck. And um, my favorite player since I was younger, and the reason I wore 24 here was Charles Woodson. We got to go to Lambeau last year, and that place was amazing. And just watching him warm up and stuff like that. My favorite player since I was younger, watching him play, that was an amazing feeling. But then, like I said, you gotta can't really be starstruck in the NFL if you want to succeed. You gotta get after yourself. It's so much more different, as far as. The little stuff, you have to be on top of all the little little things like far as footwork and, and just knowing like tiny giveaways and reads like that. Um, I think our coaches last year did a great job of, of helping us get our footwork right and making sure we don't fall step and all those little things that make a huge difference in the NFL. Whereas here is in college, you can probably get away with it with just talent or something like that. But NFL, if you take the wrong step, then a 330 pound lineman is gonna run you over super intense and passionate guy and he um, he loves to win and I think that's something that I love to do too so that's something we both have in common so I, I loved it. I, I would have to credit me being in the NFL to FCA and Ken Lynn Troutman because as you can see I'm not some super freak like Calvin Johnson or Adrian Peterson and stuff like that. I had to do all the little details right, do all the little extra stuff to get to where I am now. and. Um, before Christ, I had my priorities all mixed up and I definitely wasn't focusing on the little details that I, was, I wasn't I was now that I'm a believer I am. Who I was before I got here and now who I am after um, is it, it, a complete 180. So like, it, it would be wrong for me not to come back here to, to give back to a, a program and, and a, a school and, and things like FCA that transformed my life. I think I, I owe it to the, this community just to come back and give back.